parents' house. I'm going to make you very great. He left and all that. But the time he was about to start a new covenant with him and begin to bring the blessings and begin fresh things with him, he told him that what? Circumcise every male child in your house. Even when they are eight days old. When they are eight days, you do what? You circumcise them. Senior Enra, I electoral commission organize a year. I'm a new qua, Munina, a pray for presidency, no organize a woman, and no Munina, a boom, a year ballotino. The career say a year and this a manucuno, I do cojina, a man penning, dada, Ira John Domani Mahama, and the NDC a demono, a copeca number eight. Sansona do cojina and PP a manucuni demo, a year Ira Doctor Mahama Domia. Mr. The Vice President, and so so almost epic number one. Na I know an abu resu sumu and a hunemua. A jiris and numbers and so so a cassa ye. Numbers and so so di acutini ye. Numbers and so so a bon homo dini ye when you pa abra boom. And your numerologies be bro no more. O motion numbers so. No more de a chakini pa abra bo. O machin panuqua on fasua. O monebra. And unti and a ma prophet Clement testimony. On us, I bought a Bible move. The entire man and this I'm a new clone. I could choose number eight. Mommy, I'm caught near Kutia Prophet Clement testimony. But near Kaimosa Hanso, I have been full radio. This is a any day can hear being full radio. I also subscribe to the Amaya. It's a bit of latest and trending stories. The far bat one who not there. You didn't in our bedroom. We in your back to cream film. If you talk from say Kim, you're the bedroom. You're the winner. I'm one. Okay, so I told you I'm going to give you the reason why your mama and his team, His Excellency, picked the number eight. All right, let's quickly go in the book of Genesis chapter 17, when God was starting a new covenant with Abraham. All right, he declared to him uh, that he should what? He should circumcise himself and his descendant because God is about to make him fruitful, exceedingly great and all that. And when he got to the verse number um, 12, he says that he who is eight days old among you, you shall be circumcised, every male child in your generation. He told Abraham that, look, leave your parents house i'm going to make you very great he left and all that but the time he was about to start a new covenant with him and begin to bring the blessings and begin fresh things with him he told him that what circumcise every male child in your house even when they are eight days old when they are eight days you do what you circumcise them god was trying to institute a new covenant and a new beginning with abraham and give him the blessings for himself and his unborn children but god said on the eighth day of every male's child's life make sure you circumcise him you know what that means the number eight stands for the number of new beginning anytime god wants to start something new a new covenant when he wants to end uh, 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 the old cycle and release you into a new realm he institutes the number eight he would establish you by a new covenant with the number eight. So the number eight stands for a new covenant. It stands for a new beginning. It stands for a fresh start. What is the theme and the name of President John Muhammad's campaign? What again? Resetting Ghana. It means let's take it afresh. Let's start afresh. Let's begin something new. Hold on there. The same book of Jen. Let's go to the chapter number eight. When the flood had ravaged the earth, he had a it has scattered the whole place and even it stood on the earth for like 150 days destroying every life but in genesis chapter 8 the bible said and the lord remembered noah oh my god let me read then god remembered noah and every living creature every and every living thing and all the animals that were with him in the ark and god made him made the wind pass over the earth and the waters subsided now when you read further in the verse number 20 and he said, I will never again curse the ground, all right, because of the what of the covenant that Noah made by making an altar or building an altar. So when Noah made an altar, God said that he's never going to destroy the earth again. Guess what? In what chapter did God remember Noah? The chapter 8, new beginning. So the flats were just all over, scattering everywhere. It was passed. God said, the number 8, the chapter 8, ah, Noah, I've remembered you. Whatever that has been destroyed, I'm coming back to save you. So, in other words, whatever thing that people have complained about going on in this country here and there, people don't like many things and all that. You know, personally, I don't like this um, uh, e-levy. I don't really like all the taxes. When I'm, I, I, it is very difficult. It, it, it takes a toll on us when we are transacting with our little monies we have. Because God told me that the e-levy wouldn't add up anywhere. Some time ago when they were trying to bring it, God said, 
and could do baby yeah. I'm, and i'm passo that's where we are all right and i'm i'm going to vote for jomama because god said he's going to go in that line if god had told me he was going to go for baumia i would have gone to vote for baumia but god told me that it is jomama i've seen him in my visions many times even some few days ago he came with the son his son introduced me to him the guy that likes uh the boxing i don't know his name whether rashad or rafad if you know his name you can just write it down he came to me and said oh prof meet my father so the guy introduced me to his father i've seen countless things what god has shown me from last year march when god said he was, he was going to make up ghana and all that i saw him with the ghana flag you have seen that video over half a million on facebook and then i saw him uh, his face with the with the flag so it means that he's going to change the face of ghana and make up the flag the, the the thing was like a makeup on his face like a brush and all that and god said i'll use your mama to make over the whole nation the face of ghana will change and he began he had, he had shown me about six powerful visions of president your mama that's why i am going to vote for him if god has shown me about alan cash i would have voted for him if god has shown me about uh new force or uh, okay, I, don't call, I would have voted for them all right so me i go where god tells me all right so let me make let me make this clear in fact i have a soft spot for Inkrumah, so you can call me a cpp boy many years ago i was even trying to join their um what they call it their as their party executive after after university i was trying to join in uh, group uh, cpp so i i i have a soft spot for i had a soft spot for indum until he also formed his own party so my point here is that i'm doing this because i'm late so guess what your mama says he's about what reset ghana is that true and i also saw the makeover the video is there is is on facebook the makeup makeover i last year march god showed me that vision and we made a video in april first april on facebook all right so guess everything happening so there's going to be a restart a resetting a new beginning a fresh start all things are going to pass away behold there's going to be a new thing so look at all the biblical implications and interpretations and what the lord wants to do prophetically are you with me church so now this is all pointing to the fact that whatever vision god have said concerning this man is coming to pass prophet will have liberty to i mean prophesy and pray without any intimidation like people will say prof why are you doing this be careful be careful why should i be careful as a prophet who is speaking god's mind and standing on the neutral ground so if it was um if you don't call or if it was ayariga or alan will you be telling me to be careful if they were in power why are you guys telling me to be careful you don't allow me my freedom as an individual to declare the mind of god when i came to tell you about the national cathedral some years ago you said oh no it will happen you happy but now look at us now so why are you guys telling me to be very careful i've not done any wrong to anybody i'm just going as led by the holy spirit you can choose to believe me or not but at the end of the day everything god is saying will, will make sense and the signs are now clear the signs are clear so this is why his excellency and ndc chose the eight <laughs> it's very prophetic the first one i'm told they chose the number seven that is that is perfection that that is completion so it means that the assignment is perfected the assignment is completed and the next one they chose is eight so it is a new beginning anytime god wants to start something new he would begin to institute the number or establish or initiate the number eight into the eighth realm so that is a prophetic number of a new beginning so the number alone should scare the other parties i'm telling you as a prophet the the prophetic meaning when god wanted to start something fresh with abraham he says move from your father's house i'm taking you somewhere so that i can bless you when he spoke to him about all the things establishment increase fruitfulness he says that on the eighth day of every male child's life circumcising i think i have a message on this about the circumcision on our facebook page very very powerful one so isaac and co came after the eight day circumcision Mano Sabakada. The number eight is prophetically the new beginning. So the number eight stands for the new things God wants to do and the visions that God has shown us. Jomama will do well. His excellency Jomama, he will do well. For the first two years, I've told you he will struggle, but the third year going is going to be amazing. He will do it in a way such that even people will tell him, You are you have four years, but continue. The whole nation. <laughs> Let me reserve that one for now. It's in the realms. It's in the realms. And he will be the one their team will be the one to come and break the eight it's something that the lord has said after the group of young people would also come and take front let's look at this there are five stars on Okujetu ablakwa i hope i had the name right the mp honorable and there are four stars on zenato rollins and there are also four stars on sam george and there are three stars on atu forcing there are three stars on atu forcing there are five stars right now five stars are on the head of ablakwa
there are four for each on St. George and Zenato. And there are three stars on Atofosan. The Lord bless you and keep you. And the Lord help you. The Lord makes make his face shine upon you. You know, and keep you. Haruna has some stars. I won't say his stars now. I won't say his stars now. Because there is a prob uh, there's a prophetic probability with his 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 realm because of his age. Because after that time, we'll begin to zoom into the youthful realm. The youthful realm will begin from 2025, 6 going. So the youthful realm will open from 2025 to 6. Anybody who is above 50 going, which I believe maybe Haruna will be above 50 around that time. I don't know his age. So there's a prophetic probability there. All right. I'm just speaking into the youthful future that the Lord wants to do with, with that part. God bless you and God keep you in Jesus' name. So this is the reason why he chose it and what is about to happen. There is a lot of things I will share with you, but because of time, uh, I would I would want to share with you, but because of time, I would make I would, I would want to make the video very very short. God bless you and keep you. Share this video; it will be a blessing. Ghana is about to see a fresh start, a new beginning. Great things are about to happen. It's already in the realms. It's and yet, nobody can stop it. It's this is what God has planned. This is what God has planned, and God's way, and God's will will be made manifest in Jesus' name.